This is called Hamza, and it is a letter often used at the beginning of words. And in the Holy Quran, it comes in two different forms, Hamza Qata and Hamza Wasl. And this is the difference between them. Let's start with Hamza Qata, which contains the word Qata, and it literally means cutting. And this explains that this type of Hamza literally cuts through the word. In other words, producing it necessarily requires that you cut the airflow through your vocal cords, whether this happens at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the word, like in these examples. So pronouncing Hamzat Qata requires stopping the airflow momentarily, whether at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the word. And to master this technique and understand it even more, you should check this video out on how you should properly pronounce the Arabic Hamza. And pronouncing the Hamzat Qata doesn't get affected by anything you do while reading. Whether you stop, start, or keep on reading, you will always pronounce it fully. Like these examples. Now, in these two examples, you could see that the first time I read the ayah, I read it completely and I kept on going. And while I was reading, I pronounced the ayah normally. And I said, Lakum anfusukum. Also, when I started at the word, beginning with Hamzat Qata, I also pronounced it fully, like so. So, Hamzat Qata will be pronounced fully when it comes at the beginning, middle, or at the end of the word. Whether you stop, start, or keep on reading, you will always pronounce it. And the sign of Hamzat Qata also follows its short vowel wherever it goes. So this means that the sukun or short vowels that come on top of the letter make the sign of Hamzat Qata appear on top, like in these examples. فَأَعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةِ وَتَأْسِرُونَ فَرِيقًا And on the other hand, any sign that comes underneath the letter makes the sign of Hamzat Qata appear under the letter, like in these examples. The second type of Hamza is Hamzat Wasl, which has this sign on top. This sign is a small sod, and it stands for the word wasl, which literally means connect. As the name suggests, Hamzat wasl disappears when you connect it and keep on reading, but it is fully pronounced if you start at the word, like in these examples. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اعْبُدُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ اعْبُدُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ فَمَنِ اعْتَدَى عَلَيْكُمْ فَاعْتَدُوا عَلَيْهِ بِمِثْلِ مَا اعْتَدَى عَلَيْكُمْ اعتدى عليكم إن لم رأته قدرنا إنها امرأته قدرنا إنها. Now, as you can see, when I kept on reading, I did not pronounce the hamzat wasl, like in the word أعبدو. 
And when I kept on reading, I said, Ya ayyuhan nasu'budu An su'budu So I connected the scene right to the Ayn. But when I started at the word U'budu, I had to pronounce the Alif completely, like so. U'budu rabbakum in the second example is the same thing, and I said, عَلَيْكُمْ I connected the noon to the Ayn, and I said, عَلَيْكُمْ But if I started at the word i'tada, I will have to pronounce the alif completely, and I will say, عَلَيْكُمْ Now, in the second Hamza Twasl, in this example, we notice that it comes in the middle of the word. And in this case, I have no other choice but to skip it all the time because I can't split the word into two just to pronounce the Hamzat Wasl. So I will always say Fa'tadu. Fa'tadu. So I dropped it and it will be dropped always because it's in the middle of the word. Last example, I said Illam ra'atahu. But if I started at the word, I will say imra'atahu. Now, one last thing about these examples. You can't pronounce Hamzat Wasl if you keep on reading. So, saying, Ya ayyuhan nasu u'budu is wrong. And the Hamzat Wasl has to go away. And in the second example, you can't say, Faman i'tada alaykum. And you have to connect the noon with Ain if you keep on reading. And in the last example, you can't say Illa imra'atahu for the same reason because it's a Hamzat Wasl. If you keep on reading, it has to disappear. Hamzat Wasl also occurs with the defining article El, which means the in English. And the same rules apply. If you keep on reading, you're going to skip the Hamzat Wasl, but if you start at the word, you will pronounce Hamzat Wasl, like in this example. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Notice how we pronounce the Hamzat Wasl at the beginning of the word Alhamdu because we started there and we said Alhamdulillah. But we ignored the following Hamzat Wasl because we kept on reading and we said Rabbil Alameen. So here we connected the ba directly to Lam and we said Rabbil Alameen. So it would be wrong to say Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Al Alameen because we kept on reading, so this means that the Hamzat Wasl has to be dropped. This type of Al is called Moon Al and it is the normal type in which you will. Normally skip the Hamzat Wasl if you keep on reading, and if you start at the word, you will normally pronounce it. And here are some more examples for the same type of L. Notice how I connected the last letter of these words to lem directly from the following word because I kept on reading and I said Lutinil Mursalun Ahlul Medina Minal Qanitin. But of course, if I start at these words, I will normally pronounce Hamzat Wasl without any problem and I would say Al Mursalun Al Medina Al Qanitin. However there is another type of Al and that is called the Sun Al. And this is a little bit special because in this type of Al you will drop the Lam in Al. Like what you would do in the word Ashams. Notice how we dropped the lamb in the word ashams. 
So this means if you connect the word Ashems to something before it, you will not only drop the Lem from Ashems, but also you will drop Hamzat Wasl because you connected the word. Like in these examples. وَمَا أَنْسَانِيهُ إِلَّا الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ أَذْكُرَهُ مَا أَشْهَدْتُهُمْ خَلْقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ قُلْ فَأْتُوا بِالتَّوْرَاهِ Notice how in the first example I completely ignored Hamzat Wasl and the Lamb. And I connected the alif in illa directly to the sheen. And I said illa shaytan. And in the second example, I connected qaf directly to the seen. And I said khalqa samawat. Khalqa samawat. And in the last example, I dropped Hamza Twasl and the lamb. And I said bitawra. So when do we get Sun L and Moon L? This poster shows you which letters cause the Sun and the Moon L to happen. I will also leave it in the description of this video if you want to download it. And the best training for both types of L plus Hamza Wasl and Qata is Surat Ash-Shams. Try to hear the difference and see how I skip Hamza Wasl and sometimes I also skip the lamp. وَالشَّمْسِ وَضُحَاهَا وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا So compare how I said وَالشَّمْسْ وَالْقَمَر In the first example, I completely dropped أَلْ همزة وصل plus لام and in the second, I only dropped the همزة وصل and I pronounced the lam because the first one is sun l and in the second one is a moon l washamsi wa duhaha wal qamari idha talaha wan nahari idha jallaha wal layli idha yaghshaha وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا So, Hamza is Hamza Qata, which, regardless where it appears in the word, if you start at the word, you will pronounce it, and if you connect it or keep on reading, you will also pronounce Hamza Qata. And on the other side, Hamzat Wasl, if you start at the word, you will pronounce it normally, but if you connect it to what comes before it, you will skip it. And if it happens to be part of Moon L, you will only skip Hamzat Wasl like you'd normally do. But if it was part of the Sun L, then you will skip both Hamzat Wasl and the Lamb. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something new today. If you have, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.